an Arbitrum-based friend tech clone, has decided to slam the brakes ahead of its promised airdrop due to unsustainable operational costs, leaving users befuddled while noting the team's healthy multi-signal and printing them in wallet. Cypher fan creator Zadis announced the project's shutdown on October 24th, just hours before its Cypher token airdrop was set to launch as a reward to active toll detention jurors or controversy, but in this Solsa venue, when the Soltex Zadis said the Cypher fan's business model is non-profitable and the app is rife with bot activity rather than real users. Notably, the project's social media accounts have been silent since October 19th. Adam Cochran, a crypto commentator and avid Cypher fan supporter, disclosed personal losses incurred from his interaction with the project. Cochran echoed Zadis's cost remarks but expressed confusion since the team recently inked an investment agreement. And so this morning, Cypher had made the decision to shut down, um, which obviously I didn't expect while the team had high costs. They still had Renlay and having only finalized uh, an investment agreement the other day. Um, I don't think this was a right outcome for the team. Um, this morning, about a rug pull, uh, the colloquial term for a protocol is abrupt halt. Users refuted claims of high maintenance cost as one of Cypher fans' multi sig wallets held some 180 free in ETH worth over $330,000 at current prices. On-chain sleuth Zach XBT confirmed the team's wallet. This multi-state collected fees from transactions and activities done on the blockchain-based social network. Uh, the Crypto.News reached out for comments and has yet to receive feedback at breast time. Uh, their multi-cipher fees has $336,000 uh, a cipher fan ranks among the handful of friend tech forks to appear since the viral social fi app launched in August, quickly generating millions in fees and total value locked. Uh, FT, as it is commonly known, uh, allows users to buy keys that serve as access cards to private chat rooms. Uh, Stars Arena, a supposed FT rival on Avalanche, was hacked for $3 million but later recovered 90% of the fund. Their attacker reportedly received a 10% bounty face for the reimbursement. 